Hello everyone. So in this session, we will be discussing related to the math instructions or math functions available in TIA portal. Okay, so there are various types of math functions such as addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, mode, etc. So in this session, we will be seeing addition and subtraction, multiplication and division. Then later we will be seeing the remaining instructions as well okay so basically if you want to add two or more values so we can use this addition instruction similarly for subtraction we can use the subtract instruction okay similarly for multiplication and division we can use the respective instructions right uh, so basically these are in the form of blocks so let us see how to use it in software okay so basically i'll be using uh, suppose we will be making some tags first okay suppose we want uh, we'll be taking some tags so the same tags which we have taken in previous lecture for input pulse suppose we will be using one counter here so i am giving a uh, input pulse here okay so input pulse okay and then i am using one reset in order to reset the counter okay and we'll be using uh, current value of the counter okay so current value okay so here we'll be having this as md0 okay memory double word and the data type here will not be selecting as double word memory double word here here we'll be using it as real because we need to use uh, we need to use this real because uh, will be adding some decimal values also okay so the values which require some decimal values uh, for example 20.6 or 15.6 whatever okay so in order to store that we will be using this real data type here okay and similarly uh, this is our current value now i'll be using two inputs for addition for example if you are having a value so let us make it as input okay input 1 and this is md4 okay and we'll be having a result okay so this is our md8 right so these are all our tags now what we'll do is i'll go to i'll take one no the same things we'll be doing that counter as well okay now this counter will be having input pulse here okay so this is our input pulse and he reset here so this is reset okay now this is our preset value the preset value will be what preset value for example we are taking a preset value as zero for the moment okay and here will be having the current value of the counter okay now this value will be given to the addition block i will take one addition block here so here if we are able to observe we are having this uh, star mark here okay so in order to insert more number of inputs and add them together we can use this insert star mark okay if you are clicking on this one then we will be getting one more input that is input number three so here we are having only up to input one input two so if you are clicking on this one then you will be getting one more input so here we'll, we'll be taking only two inputs okay so the first one will be obviously this one okay so let me make it as some input right so let us let us take this as input and this current value will be given to this input right so i am taking it as current value that is uh for example uh, this is our current value no problem okay now both the values will be added and we'll be getting the result here okay we'll be getting this result here okay so let me download this one okay okay i am downloading this one now okay so one thing if you are able to observe is i have set it to auto 
okay you need to select a real otherwise because we have given all the integers on data type as real that's why it has automatically become real okay so in auto mode it will automatically take the uh, data type of whatever inputs we have given okay so otherwise you can set it as a manual also uh, manually also we can set the value as real or double integer whatever data type you have taken in the inputs right so th for the moment it is real okay so now let me download this one and monitor this okay so basically i'll go to the online mode okay now let us monitor the same okay so here this are it is taking some previous value okay so here we have taken all the tags here we will we'll be having this as input one two and all okay so i am just resetting it to zero okay now if you are able to observe we have given some value as three here so i can change the values from here okay so suppose if you want to give some uh, some other value for example we are giving it as 4.0 as a floating point number okay so automatically it will become 4.0 now it will be added to this current value of the counter which is initially at zero because we have re just reset this counter right now when you are increasing the number of counts so automatically the current value of the counter will increase and accordingly the addition will happen and result will be in the output okay so let us download this one uh, let us uh, check what is going to happen okay so here i am giving this input pulse okay i am increasing the number of counts so i have given the first input pulse so automatically this has been added to this one and the result is 5 so in this way you can increase and add the number of values okay now what i will do is i will just reset in I reset it and will be using a subtraction block here okay so in this way we can use the it for addition of decimal values as well okay now i am resetting it right now what we'll do is i'll go to the offline mode and i'll just change this block so it will be as be a subtraction block now now i am downloading it again and let us observe what is going to happen so in this case what will happen is the input one will be subtracted from this current value of the count so basically what will happen this uh, current value will be subtracted from this input value okay so suppose if it is uh, we have given it as four right so when will uh, what will happen four minus of whatever the current value of the counter so let us go to the online mode mode and observe what is going to happen okay so here if you are able to observe when you are giving we are not giving any of the pulses 4 minus of the current value is equal to 4, uh, 4 because uh, current value initially is equal to 0 so let us increase the current value right so i am giving the first pulse when you are giving the first pulse the current value of counter has become 1 right so basically this current value has become 1 okay and accordingly this is becoming 3 right so let us change the value again but you are able to observe this current value here right so we are increasing the current value of the counter one by one and correspondingly see here 4 minus of 4 is equal to 0 basically what is happening is we have uh, 0 here basically it will be not a floating point value that's why it is 0 I think so now we are able to observe that this is our current value and when you are subtracting this from this one automatically it is becoming the 0 because of same values so when you are giving when you are increasing uh, the current value further more let us increase the current value now more okay I am increasing it to one more value okay so it has become 5 now so 4 minus of 5 is obviously minus 1 okay so in this way we are using this subtraction block now let us use the multiplication block in the same okay i will be just changing this block here this will be multiplication block now and we will be observing that when both the values will be uh, multiplied and corresponding output will be getting it here so the same things will be happening here 
there is nothing in special okay so let us download it first and then observe okay i am downloading it after downloading i am going to the monitor mode okay so if you are able to observe we are multiplying 4 into 6 okay so that's why the value is 24 here okay now what we will do is i am increasing the value suppose if you are pressing reset then automatically it will become zero because the initial value of the counter will be zero right now i am increasing it again okay so the first one now this has become four because four into one is four right now i am giving more okay so four into two is eight in this way we are performing multiplication in this block okay now what we'll do is i'll be using a division block here so i'll be getting some values i'll be just using a division block here okay i'm going in the monitor mode okay so basically you need to go in the on uh, download let us download it first and then we'll be going into the monitor mode okay downloading it and going to the monitor mode okay so it is in monitor mode now so if you are able to observe both the values are same 4 divided by 4 is obviously equal to 1 okay now uh, let us take it to let us reset it first okay so basically what is happening is here uh, infinite values we are getting that's why this value is not proper here now what we'll do is i'll just increase the counters value okay so basically what is happening the current value of the counter has become one so four divided by one is obviously equal to four itself okay now i'll be increasing it more okay so in this way four divided by two is now two now we'll be getting some decimal value four divided by three is 1.333 in this way we are using this uh, division block right so in this way we are we have tried to use all the mathematical blocks like uh, addition subtraction multiplication and division so the remaining blocks will be seen in the next lecture okay so thank you